far too many caregivers, as we know, are facing uh, uncertainty about how best to care for their loved ones following discharge of those loved ones from the hospital. And the CARE Act will better prepare family members and friends uh, to perform the critical task of helping loved ones remain in their homes and physically recover uh, after a hospital discharge. And we know that this is a, uh, a challenge. We know that, uh, that uh, too many people wind up being uh, returned to the hospital within a fairly short period of time <clears throat> after discharge. In fact, uh, uh, Medicaid and, and uh, Medicare are uh, imposing penalties on hospitals for uh, readmissions uh, shortly after discharge. And the uh, the CARE Act is now uh, being adopted in a number of states, and uh, we plan to take action on it here today in our state senate. And it is to ensure that caregivers receive the information and training that they need to care for their loved ones uh, at home. As medical care has evolved, uh, more patients are leaving the hospital soon after surgery. The hospital stays, uh, except in the most severe cases, tend to be shorter than they used to be. So patients are leaving soon after surgery and other medical procedures, and in many instances there is a requirement uh, of continued care after they return home, uh, and the responsibility falls on the patient's loved ones. And unfortunately, many of the caregivers feel unprepared uh, to perform the medical tasks uh, necessary to provide that care in that critical period, uh, especially shortly after the patient is discharged. This was a caucus priority for us at the beginning of session, and I'm very happy today that we're uh, poised today to vote on this legislation in the State Senate, and we're doing it in a bipartisan way. Uh, we've had a number of people on both sides of the aisle help shepherd this legislation through, and it's extremely important, and certainly want to thank them, uh, as well as the AARP, for all their help in this as well. Uh, my dad had major surgery uh, last year, and he was in the hospital for an extended uh, period of time, and I remember when he was released, uh, there was a great amount of stress placed on uh, my mom and uh, myself and my wife and others uh, with regard to his care after leaving the hospital. Um, you know, again, as Senator Looney said, hospital stays are shorter. Um, there's certainly more technology out there that makes things more stressful for families. Um, but he was lucky in the sense that he had a lot of people who were his caregivers, uh, most importantly my mother. Um, but there's lots of other people out there who don't have the benefit of lots of family in their immediate area. And so if somebody does get discharged from a hospital or goes to another facility, uh, they, they need those instructions. Uh, with, you know, for my dad, when he had, he had to have certain types of medications at various times or other types of uh, medications administered to him. <clears throat> uh, and while I know when you go to the hospital and you have people who are um, there and you're, you're the loved one, you tend to get an honorary medical degree very quickly. Uh, because of the information you learn. Uh, but it's just because of that doesn't mean that you know everything and it's not a very stressful experience. So uh, having the CARE Act there, uh, having it in place, I think will aid uh, certainly many people uh, this year in going forward to make sure that their loved ones who come out of the hospital are, are cared for, are treated well, and that we don't have the hospital readmission rates uh, that we don't want to have. My father was in a life-threatening motorcycle accident 10 years ago. And luckily he survived, but the injuries that he sustained that day have challenged him for the last decade. And he's had a lot of hospital stays and a lot of medical issues since then. And I've seen the variety of care that he's received and the challenge it's been for my sister and I, but primarily my mother, to understand the instructions. I know one time he was being discharged from the hospital, they gave the instructions on how to care for a wound that my father couldn't reach. And they gave the instructions to my father while my mother wasn't there. So this act is really going to improve people's quality of life, ensure that as they're transitioning back into their homes and needing to be cared for by their loved ones, that they're gonna have the proper instructions to make sure that their health is sustained and cared for and that they don't end up being re readmitted back to the hospital. So thank you all again, and I'm so excited that this bill is gonna have some such strong support today. The reason I've wholeheartedly supported this legislation is because I have still with us my grandmother who is 97 years old and in so many ways a true success story. When we talk about aging in place, Nani is 97 and living home in her house and actually living alone. Um, now my mom and I are uh, primary caregivers for her and, um, and are with her often. Um, but one of the things that happened last summer was that she came down with pneumonia. 
and she ended up in the hospital for a week and a half. And unlike any other time that she's been in the hospital, this time she really was extremely different coming out than she had been going in. She came out really being barely able to walk. And so um, she is, um, she is very fortunate because she has many supports and um, even given that, we were in a situation that was very frightening because I was the one who picked her up from the hospital and I figured I could do that. I had done that many a time. I picked her up from the hospital. We went back to my house. I didn't have the information that I needed at the time that she wasn't going to be able to walk even using her walker as she had before she went into the hospital because just a week and a half at her age, um, she had lost so much of that motor ability. We so want those hospital workers who have be gotten to the point where quite frankly, they are so busy and they have such strict timelines that they're allowed to spend with each patient and you know it's becoming more and more so like um, you know a quick in and a quick out um, and they just don't have the time but we want them to know that slow down take the time treat these patients as you would your own family make sure that you're relaying the information to the family members that you would want um, to be related if it was your family and so I am really thrilled thank you um, May for being here and thank you senator um, this is great legislation I am so proud to support it